Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to root the MyTouch slide using the exploit method. If you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, so like that in the address bar, and search for how to root the HTC MyTouch slide procedure. Okay, this procedure will give you the ability to flash the engineering build and then flash a custom ROM. Um, in this procedure, you have to finish it entirely, then immediately go to the next procedure, which is called how to load a custom ROM, uh, in order to be able to get actual root access with applications, etc. So once you're done with this one, immediately go on to the next one. Once you're done with that one, you'll have root access, you'll have the ability to load custom ROMs, a custom recovery image, etc. Okay, the first thing we need to do is we need to uninstall HTC Sync from the computer if you have it installed. So go to Start, Control Panel, Programs, Find HTC Sync, and click Uninstall. Then we can go to the next step. Okay, next you're going to download USB to view to your computer. You're going to then open it and right, by right-clicking on it and clicking Run as Administrator. Uh, if you're using Windows XP, you can just double-click it. In that program, you're going to click on Description at the top. It'll sort everything by description. Now search for everything that says Team Mobile Touch Slide. Um, if there's more than one, then right click each one uh, and click uninstall device on each one of those. There should be no MyTouch slide, slide drivers left in the list when you're done. Okay, next you're going to download PDANet. This is normally a program used for tethering uh, your phone's internet with a USB cable to your computer. Uh, but we're, what we're going to use it for is we're going to actually use it to get the proper drivers installed. So once you download it, make sure your phone is not plugged in, follow the PDANet installation prompt, um, and it'll ask you to what manufacturer to choose, choose HTC, and then on your phone, you're going to go to push the menu button, hit settings, go to applications, go to development, and you're going to make sure that USB debugging is checked on. Click OK, and then you can click home. After that. Plug the phone in via USB cable. Pull this down. Make sure that it's set to charge only. And the computer should automatically install the drivers. So these are the drivers it should have automatically installed. The one we really care about is ADB right there. Okay, next you need to set up the Android SDK uh, and ADB. So I'll click on the link there to how to set up ADB procedure. Once you've done that and you can see your phone's serial number, you can come back to this procedure and we can continue. Okay, now we're going to make sure that there are certain settings on the phone set to what we want. So, menu, settings. You should have just done this, but just in case, applications development, USB debugging needs to be on. Do stay awake as well. Then go back back, connect to PC, default connection type, we want to make sure it's charge only, back, wireless and networks, we want to make sure that Wi-Fi is off so it's unchecked, and then we can continue. Okay, after we're done now, we're going to plug the phone in via USB. And make sure that it's set to charge only. Okay, now you're going to download the MyTouch slide rooting file, so click on that link there and download that to your computer. Okay, once you download the slide root.zip file, we're going to right click it and hit extract all. And then click extract. Okay, once it's done, it should have its own folder. We're going to open that. We're going to highlight everything inside. So tap the first one, hold shift, and then tap the last one. Right click, copy. And then we're going to go to C drive, our Android SDK, and then our tools folder. And then right click anywhere in here and hit paste. It's going to ask you if you want to overwrite stuff. Say do this for the next conflicts, copy and replace. And wait for it to finish copying. Okay, once you're done copying, all those files will be in the same place as adb.exe inside the Android Tools folder. Not inside any folders, but just in the files here. You'll see exploit, etc. Okay? 
Okay, now we're gonna open a command prompt on the computer by clicking the start button and then typing CMD and hitting enter and the command prompt will open. Okay, now in the command prompt we're gonna type the following. Uh, you don't have to read it here, it's written on the site. Okay, once you type in my root, it's gonna say press any key to continue. I'm gonna click enter. And it's gonna go through this whole process here. It may look like it freezes on the part about the ESPRIMG.zip. Just leave it, it's a big file, that's why it takes a while. Okay, then it tells you to press any key to continue. We're gonna hit enter, bring us back to our normal prompt. We're gonna continue typing what's written in the procedure. Okay, after you type dot slash exploit, it'll pop up a little bit. And then you should get the dollar sign. When you do, you're going to go on your phone, hit menu, settings, scroll all the way up to wireless networks, turn the Wi-Fi on. Now with the Wi-Fi on, we're gonna go back to the command prompt type dot slash exploit again and hit enter. It's going to ask you for a password. The password is secret, lol, one word, hit enter. Now after it's accepted the password, it's going to give you a, a number sign, which means you have root access right now. So we're going to type cd local space star. Remember that it's chmod 04755 space, then the asterisk symbol. Then hit enter. Slash data slash local slash slash image space Okay, once you've done that and you can get the number symbol, we can go on to the next section. Okay, now while the phone is still plugged in, you're going to pull down the notification bar, click USB, select disk drive. So this way we can transfer files to the SD card. Okay, now on the computer you're going to click uh, and download the stock ROM with root access. So click on that link there, download that to your computer. Okay, once you download the, uh, the stock ROM with root access, you're going to copy it to your SD card. And make sure it's not inside any folder, it's just on the SD card itself. So the path should be the name of the file and removal disk. Also make sure you do not unzip it, leave it as a .zip file. Okay, after that file is transferred, you can unplug the phone and we can continue. Now we're gonna turn the phone back on by holding down volume down and power. Keep holding it until this comes up then you can let go. And it should automatically search for the ESPRIMG.zip file. Eventually it will find it and you'll see this status bar start to load up. Wait for that to finish. Okay, once it's done loading that, it's gonna say, do you wanna start the update? Hit volume up to begin the update. Okay, once it's done, it's gonna ask you if you wanna reboot the device. Make sure you say no. Hit volume down to say no. This will bring you back to the H boot screen. Now we're gonna select 
volume down to get to recovery. And then we're going to push power to select it and wait for the phone to reboot into recovery. Okay, now when the screen comes up with the triangle and the exclamation point, we're going to hit volume up and power to have a menu come up. Then we're going to go scroll down to apply SD card update.zip and click power to select that. And it should boot you into Clockwork Mars Recovery. Once you're at this, leave it, do not reboot the phone, leave it on this menu, and then continue the next section. We have to load a custom ROM before we reboot the phone in order for this to work. Okay, now you're still in recovery mode, Clockwork Mod Recovery Mode, from the section before this. You're now going to scroll down to Wipe Data Factory Reset. Scroll down to Yes. Wait for it to finish wiping. And then we're going to scroll down to Install Zip from SD Card. Choose zip from SD card. And now we're going to scroll down until we find the ROM that we loaded on the phone. Called Slide Me Root 2. Once you have that, push power to select it. And wait for it to finish flashing the ROM. Okay, once it says install from SD card complete, you can scroll down to go back, then reboot system now, and wait for the phone to reboot. Okay, once the phone boots up, you go through your normal setup process, and you now have uh, basically the stock ROM with root access. Enjoy. If you want to load a different custom ROM, simply click on the link at the bottom of this procedure for how to load a custom ROM and that'll take you to that new procedure. You can do that to load custom ROMs.